Hey Steve, it's Albert from Shaper Chevrolet. Just going to do a quick walk around on our 2010 Ford F-150. Find out anything uh, I think you'd like to know or see before uh, you get to see the vehicle in person. Um, so let's begin. Starting here on the front, uh, I like to check the grill, the bumper. On the grill here, it looks like there is some of the chrome. They're starting to peel off. Um, looking at the bumper, I like to make sure it's square. One side's not pushed up anything like that, so we're good to go there. Let's take a look at the hood. Hood seems pretty clean. I do see a little imperfection right there in the paint. Other than that, pretty good. While we're here, let's take a look at the windshield. Make sure there's no chips or cracks starting to develop. And let's move on to the driver's side. Looking at the body, it looks to be pretty free and clear scratches. Um, major scratches, pardon. Um, there's a few few things here in the paint you'll find here and there. It's pretty common with used vehicle. Let's take a look at the wheel wall over here. Tires look great, all matching sets. Uh, doesn't look look like they're pretty good on tread. No dry riding, anything like that. It's starting to develop. Take a look at the rims while we're here. Moving down the driver's side body. Let's see. Just trying to find anything that I might. Looking down here, I do see a few scratches. And uh, while we're here, let's take a look at the insides of the door. Looks like they were. There's some rust proofing that was put there. Recently, it looks like. And over here, see, uh, I sent these pictures to you. Some surface rust, nothing uh, structural. Still surface rust in there as well. Alright, as you'll see, the vehicle is a little dirty. It is still going through our reconditioning department where it'll get cleaned up, shined, vacuumed, everything like that. Moving down the bed. Looking for scratches, anything like that. While we're here, let's look at the rocker panels in the cab corners and underneath the truck for you. And then take a look at the tires. Again, nice tires, rims look good. Moving down to the back. Tailgate seems to be in pretty good shape. A few dings here and there. With no major scratches. Take a look at the bumper. There you'll see your uh, trailer hitch and your hookups for your trailer. Big bonus, nice hard tile cover on the top there. Then if you look here in the back, looks like it's got a bed mat. Let's take a look underneath that. Looks uh, a little dirty, but don't see any dings or major scratches. The bed wasn't beat up or it looks like the mat may have been in there since it's been new. Going down the passenger side. See, looks like some touch up here on the fender well. Let's check the tires, rims, and the wheel well. Looks like it's pretty greasy and needs a good wash down there. Now let's take a look at the cab corners while we're here. And underneath the truck. Perfect. Moving down the passenger side. Said could use a little cleaning. And we'll check the wheel wall here. Tires look good. Check the rims. I'll put you under the truck one more time just so you can get a good look. Now, let's go ahead and start the truck up so you can hear it run, and we'll also take a look at the inside. As you can see as it sits, it's got 116,435 miles on it. Go ahead and pop the hood. So you can go ahead and take a listen. Looks like uh, looks like it may have had. There's a certain grease that a lot of people put on their trucks. Um, looks like it's been put here for rust proofing. It's pretty common here in the engine bay. You also saw some of it in the door jams, like this stuff here. Um, to a lot of people, it can look like a leak or something to that effect. I know how it looks, but um, 
is actually greased, especially with Canadian trucks, which I think this one might be. Um, they like to put stuff on their on their trucks to help and prevent with rust. All right, now let's take a look on the inside. It drove good. I didn't notice any clunks, anything like that. There's no check engine lights on the dashboard. Uh, four wheel drive does work. Go through, see your blinkers, and check your windows. All good there. Locks are working. Let's check the mirrors. Perfect, mirrors work good. And take a look on the inside. Like I said, there's it's got the, you said that it's got the features you want. Uh, more importantly, the trailer brake, of course, here. Again, four wheel drive. Then a quick shot of your dashboard. I did notice playing with the climate control, it's got the typical uh, pretty common Ford issue when it comes to the climate control knob. Uh, there's a sensor or a regulator. Uh, it's about a $30 piece, but it usually, um, after a few years, the climate control stops working on settings one and then it goes to setting two that doesn't work until the point where it only works on three and four. That being said, checking the AC, it's not blowing uh, really cold air. So uh, the climate, the climate uh, controls may need a little bit of work, um, but other than that, everything seems to be working electronically and everything. It's just a, that's a pretty common issue with uh, Ford, and if it hasn't been charged or maintained in the past six, seven years, I imagine the AC could use a recharge as well. But other than that, let's take a look in the back seat. Checking for rips, tears, a random, uh, looks like a license plate bolt there. Again, this haven't been cleaned yet. Let's go ahead and pop this up. Down here, you'll see uh, your cup holders, your funnel, jack, stuff like that. Carpet's in good shape. Again, I don't smell any signs of smoke. Uh, so I don't see any cigarette burns, any weird pet smells, any funky uh, weird odors, anything like that. I guess that just needs a good cleaning from what I can see. Other than that, it's going to conclude our walk around on the 2010 F-150 Steve. I hope it was helpful, informative, uh, give you an idea of what you're going to be looking at when you do finally get to see the truck in person. Uh, any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call or feel free to uh, get a hold of me on my email that I contacted you at. Again, Steve, thank you very much for your time and you have a great day.